Hi guys, welcome to runout.tv, it's Mal here and uh, sorry it's been a little bit of a slow time in terms of videos, uh, it's just been a busy week for us, that's all guys, it's not that I've run out of interest to in doing them or anything like that, it's just uh, been just a little bit busy, so I'm um, just getting back into it really, uh, I'm practicing, just practicing the tournament pockets on the snooker and I'm starting to improve a bit and um, so hopefully you'll see that in this video uh, although I'm definitely still prone to the odd mad miss I'm definitely getting slightly more solid uh, nice to see that Rocket my good friend Rocket has joined the online ranks um, and has added me as a friend so I've added him He's a good lad, and I look forward to playing him soon. Oops. My positional play on this is uh, leaves a little bit to be desired, unfortunately. In fact, I've got no shot. Oh dear. Uh, I'll just move a couple. Of, yeah, I'll just move a couple of these. Try a plant. It's a bit silly, but oh well. <laughs> Uh, so what else is going on? I've been involved now in Sunday League football. I'm a manager of it, well, a, a co-manager or assistant manager of a team, and that's proven to be good fun. Try and move a few reds here, so make a break or two for you. That's all right. Move them around a bit. Um, I haven't been on the online lobbies for a little while now. I did get a message from somebody who asked me if they, if they could play me, and yes, of course you can. I haven't, I'm going to try, you probably will have had a message from me. Oh, let's have a look at that, what did I do wrong there? Alright. Now see, this is interesting, at the same angle, if I roll it in, it'll drop. See that, it's weird that. So you just have to sometimes compensate for the angle. Nobody really talks much about the angles changing when you move, but that was the fractional movement so obviously the, the shot here is to get past the pink and blue so we need a lot more bottom go over here and that's probably too hard actually it needed to land sort of in that zone it's just gone through um, I like to just practice kind of making sure my visualizing the shots are okay and that's not actually too good itself let's just do that one just so we get this one right so the perfect shot would be there, here we go. That's pretty close to where you want to be. So if you're practicing, then you've got to be there. Obviously, we're not bothered about the break, but we're just knocking balls in, trying to teach ourselves good decisions. I've got a new queue in real life on order, and I'm going to... I just suddenly woke up the other day after years and... Well, not years, but quite a while of just basic disinterest I thought you know what I fancy playing so uh, I'm going to try nothing competitive though I think that I think that ship has probably sailed that's a shame I wanted to hit that one let's try that one again that's better that's what I wanted to do oh and I missed it so the angle was wrong oh, see that's just that small movement I'll quit, I'll quit that one while I'm ahead, start a new break. Um, okay. Really didn't want to hit the green there. I was trying to get through the green and brown, but we're okay. Uh, probably just play this one with just what I call pop speed. And leave ourselves a long red. But I am playing on tournament pockets, so it's good to practice on. Yellow just hampering me a little bit here. Oh dear. Why did I feel like that was... Yeah, oh there, that's probably closer. No, still going left. How bizarre, it's a sighting issue. 
See, I do, if that, look, that might look weird to you, but that looks like it's going left to me, or right to me, but there you go, it's straight in. Interesting. But I just kind of thought I'd give you guys a flavour today of how I practice. It's kind of how I do it, where I might miss a shot, I'll undo it and try and kind of burn the image of the of, of the right angle of the shot into my mind. Um, that's a nice effort. It's always nice when you get one of those in. Am I going to hit the mite? don't want to hit these. But I played it too soft because I was too frightened of hitting them. Um, so yeah, like I say, I haven't managed to be online too much. But that's not down to me being angry or not wanting to play or anything like that. It's just quite simply a time thing. Not that I've got a really busy life or anything, but sometimes it gets in the way. But also, again, the last time I did have a small fallout with the game was just over the the real slowness of the of, of some people on there. Um, and I'm probably only going to... Ooh, did I hit that one too light? Where'd that go? Let's try a plane ball, see if I was miles away. Yeah, I was. Jesus. That was terrible. So gone in off as well. Ah, uh, yeah. That's close. That's better. It's weird how sometimes when you're lining the shot up to shoot, it's sometimes worth just combing round and having a look and waiting for the right angle to kind of appear. When I was younger, and I played a lot of pool, a lot of snooker, I never made aiming errors, ever. You know, I got the right aim almost every time. But in VP4, you'll sometimes see me miss one by absolutely miles. And I guarantee you, if you gave me that shot back, like that one there, for example, if if I had just took the time to come to there, or probably there, there is is probably bang on. Yeah, which I do eventually get, but the first time I try it, I miss. So it's often worth just, that's why you see some of the lads doing that, which I always think is a little bit weird. Uh, I'm on a 50, but obviously it's not a 50. Um, it's probably more like a 7. No, there's the tournament pockets for you straight away. So again, when you're practicing the first frame, I'm only going to do one frame today, but the first frame just wants to be... I'll try that one again. That's what I do is you look for the... I'm still under hitting that one. That's weird. Okay. I hate those so thick. I do that in real life as well, you know. Even then, that's miles under hit. Wow. Still got the cushion first. It's that if there's one thing that VP four very much damaged me on, or VP three probably was the aiming of cushion shots because you can get away with a lot more thick hit. Oh, come on. I see I knew that I'd miss. Let's try that again. See, that's clearly missing what we're doing. Yeah, that's better. I don't know whether I do this or whether you guys have noticed I do this, but the balls seem to... That is slightly off-centre. That centre... See, that's slightly off-centre again. Or maybe it's just the way I aim. I don't know really not sure which way around that problem is but I've noticed that happens a few times I don't know whether that's a game thing or whether it's just a bit of a weird thing when I line up it's kind of uh, I put a little bit of side on maybe maybe it's a dominant eye thing I'm not sure right so we should clear the last four balls up anyway this one I'm deliberately putting lots of side on to snick to nip around the cushions Just made it, just made it. Ooh, didn't get it. Again, tournament pockets are tight, great to practice on. 
Oh, missed again. Nightmare. So there you go guys, that is a bit of a practice frame for you. Um, I will be coming back with a, a match play video online probably this weekend. I'm planning on doing I've done two videos already this morning. And uh, I'll be doing some more. I'm also doing some football manager videos. Um, so we search for football manager Newcastle, the channel's it to win at Co UK. Um, and there's some, some football manager videos on there if you like that sort of thing. But other than that, I will see you guys very, very soon. Thank you for watching. Um, speak to you soon. And for the guy who got in touch to want the game, I will be in touch.